Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I have an awesome gift here behind me and this um, came in from Theo in Germany I'm not sure that I'm saying that name right but I try I asked in one of my previous videos if anyone had some two terabytes laying around that they weren't using for my Hewlett Packard storage DAS project down here which is not going very well because um, it just randomly doesn't recognize drives and then you move the drive from each of these drawers for disks they have room for 35 drives and if you take a drive that it doesn't recognize it could be in number 30 and put it up in number 5 no problem whatsoever then you take it out of number 5 you put it down into number 30 and it's just not there um, so that's cheating me but I'm short five drives to have this storage box filled up with two terabyte drives ish I have some I have a three and a four in there as well but yeah Theo said that he would uh, send me some and sure enough a big box came from Germany and um, so we're gonna um, open that and we are gonna um, check out these drives so let's get into this. I haven't had this open, so... Ooh! Oh yeah! I need one of these. Um, they're pretty cool to uh, to have the drives. Um, I have been communicating with, with Theo and he said that he would send a couple of 3 terabyte drives. That's uh, these. Um, they should have some bad sectors. 3 terabyte Hitachi drives, that is. I could play with those. And then there is the these are Hitachi 2 terabyte drives also. So those are the ones that we are gonna be trying to put in the box. And there are 10 of those. As far as he said, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So a total of 12 drives, 2 3 terabytes and 10 2 terabytes. So thank you very much, Theo. Um, are these all Hitachi? That's Hitachi. That's an Hitachi. Hitachi. I'm guessing that's just the same drive, all of them then. Cool. I need to put them in some trays and luckily I have those too. So here is my box of oh, drive trays. I have uh, some of these. Um, also this box is, is becoming a filler for the storage box so we need some of these all of this is kind of taking up a lot of space so um, it's gonna be good to get it inside of the box instead but when you put in a drive well you take out a filler so you're not really it's not you can't really go and throw these out because I might need them at some point so yeah that's a kind of a dilemma okay just to keep track of the new drives I'm gonna mark them with a green marker here could probably also see that label it has here that's something extra that's not normal on these drives um, I've made the first five and so we're gonna try and put those in and I have a um, have some numbers here and these are these are the numbers that are cheating me. These three numbers are the three drives that are missing from the first um, tray. This one over here. And the next one has a lot more. That's the two next lines. Those are missing from over there. So let's, um, let's open this up and try and replace some drives. And it will be noisy. 30 is the first one, that is this one, that's not showing up, so let's take that out, and that's um, another Hitachi 2 terabytes that is in there, one of these new drives from Theo in there, let's see if it, if it sees that one. Really happened there. 
29, 30. Then the next one is 33. 31, 32, 33. That one. Try and replace that one. That's the one that we we low level formatted that in another video. Okay, so quite a bit of time has passed since that last clip that you just saw because um, I put in these new drives from Theo and um, yeah, they didn't do anything useful. Um, it's all full now, there's all the drives in there but I didn't, it was not able to see more drives than I, it already had. Uh, I think I went up, I got up to 57 drives at um, the peak. Right now it has been down for quite a bit of time. I went to Canada, I went back, I've been on vacation here. And uh, yesterday I turned it on again and right now it's on 54 drives. Um, the window storage spaces that is uh, on there is complaining it's missing some drives right now. I have to figure that out. But yeah, I thought I would play a little bit with it again. When I put in those drives and they didn't pop up, I kind of got irritated and I turned it off. And I, I hauled the video there for another better day where Morton would be in a better mood. That's today, I hope. So let's see if I can do something good with it. Um, all of these Theo drives are in there and um, yeah, I'm just gonna be swapping some drives around. I went around the back and I took out the second controller from it. Um, each of these trays here, they have two controllers. I'm only using the top one. I have tried swapping them around using the other one and even swap, swapping out the places of them. Um, but I thought, well, maybe, maybe it has difficulties with uh, having two controllers in there and me only using one of them. So I, I have pulled out the second controller in each of the units so that it's not registering as a controller in there. And that did absolutely nothing. So yeah, try that too. The rate card up in the server has two output ports two uh, ports for external connections. So one port is going to this one and one port is going to this one. So that is kind of divided up. Also try to swap those two around. Um, that does do something, but nothing helpful. Okay, in here at the computer, uh, I have the computer, uh, all the, the mess server that this uh, old DAS is connected to. And it's, as you can see, it's running server 2016 and it's using volume storage pools and it's complaining it has two drives over here that it's not seeing so we can try and right click one of those drives and we can toggle the drive lights and see if we can if we can see which light out there or which drive apparently we cannot fail to toggle the drive lights not supported okay that's gonna be difficult so as the drives are not popping up, well, there's not much help to gain here. I don't know if that would be any different in any other system, but right now it's, uh, it's not helping here. I made a list of the drives that are not showing up. So on this first one, uh, we have number 30, number 33 and number 34. That's actually pretty good that there's only missing three drives in, in this entire box right now. On the second one, we have another story. We are missing from and including number 23 and everything above that. Really weird. So um, I have a couple of four terabytes here. This is a Barracuda drive that we're gonna try and pop in there. And I have another, uh, this is an Hitachi drive, also four terabytes that we can also try and pop in there. Um, this, well, both of them came out of my NAS box further up as um, I've been replacing drives with 10 terabyte drives. I only have one 4 terabyte left up there. I have another one of these Hitachis up there and um, have already ordered the 10 terabyte to replace that. So I'm getting another 4 terabyte and we're gonna pop that in here as well. So yeah, but funny enough, these Barracuda drives, they tend to show up really good in this box. I have another one in here somewhere. Often I can pop that in and it would show up. And then if I put in a two terabyte instead, well, that doesn't work. 
So um, we're gonna try and pop this in, in spot number 30 and maybe pop this one in spot number 33. So um, yeah, let's let the noise begin. That's weird. Okay, I just figured out that you have to pop in the controller on the back before you can pull these out. Um, I don't have the the cover for it. There is a cover needed for um, reducing the airflow on the back. So I had just popped the controller in, and um, that was apparently not enough. On the top here, we have the numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we can kind of count our way over there. We have to go to the last one. 29, 30. So this is the one that we have to replace. And it's a three terabyte Hitachi. So we're gonna pop in this Barracuda, four terabyte instead. Um, let's see if it recognizes or sees anything new. It should go search for drive. So let's see, come on. Yeah. It kind of did something. That wasn't much. Let's pop that in and out again. They usually do more than that. Hmm. Then we have this 33. So 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. This one. Let's see what that is. That's one of Theo's two terabyte drive. So put that down there and try and pop in this four terabyte drive instead. <coughs> that didn't do much, but let's close this up again. Quite heavy. Yeah. So also, as this second one is teasing me, I'm gonna take everything from 23 and pop that out and in again and see if any of that wanna show up again. So this is 22, so everything else we can try and pop out one of the old drive in number 23. Another field drive. Yeah. I don't think much good happened there. It does actually do some blinking work up here in front. It's some of the drives that well, have been messing with me. So maybe at the computer, maybe I can go and check if any of them has done anything beneficial. Okay, so that little stunt actually did help somewhat. If we look at the first number of drives over here, I, I know you're not gonna be watching and counting all of those, but right now we are missing the same three drives down here. We go directly from 29 to 31, which means that drive number 30 is not showing up here. Also 33 and 34 is missing. Um, on the other shelf out there, before we were getting up to number 22 and then the rest would be missing, Actually, number 31 and 35 popped up here, which does that our Giga drive here is not complaining anymore. It's, it's good to go. It has the drives that it needs to run. Um, so that is good. Uh, so that brings us up to a total of 36 drives. But this is where it gets really, really weird because if we go over here and I told you that number 30 here is weird. You see number 29 is there, number 31 is there, number 30, nowhere to be found. But I know for a fact that I only have those, I have two Barracuda drives in here. And if I go 
and check out discs. There are two Barracuda drives in here. Uh, one, the top one, is not being used for anything. The bottom one is also offline and not being used for anything, but you can kind of see that there's unlocated space here. So if we go and investigate that, I'll just minimize that in our drive manager here, we will find that that drive, which is here, has a lot of partitions. Do you know why? That's because that came right out of that Synology box. Synology, they split everything up into partitions so that they can do SHR on them, Synology Hybrid RAID. So instead of making a RAID across a whole disk, it splits the drive up in, um, in chunks and it makes software RAID on these chunks. There's a two terabyte part here and two one terabyte parts there. So yeah, I see that drive, it just doesn't pop up. And that is weird as heck. So I'm gonna be clearing that one. I'll see if I can integrate these in my storage pool and get up to 108 terabytes. I cleared all the data on both of them. Let's see if we can push them into the storage pool over here. Let's see if they pop up here. Um, good thing we need to refresh up here. This, this storage manager, I think he, it does not refresh itself. It's, uh, it's a bit of a drag that way. So now they went online. Cool. Let's see if we can just tell storage pool to, to use it. Right click up here. Add physical drive. Let's try that. We have one of them. We have the one in slot number 35. Let's try and add that one, see what happens. Running. Okay, we went up to 104 terabytes. Can we do that again? Okay, so the other drive is not immediately showing up. Let's go to disk. It's, it's there. Okay, so... Um Instead, I made this new drive out of that Barcuda drive that is in spot number 30 out there. And I have the Giga volume over here, 50 terabytes. It's not full. Actually, it looks like there's only 700 gigabytes on it um, out of this 50 terabytes. I sort of call it Terra volume. But well, I have my old videos here from zero to number 100. And I'm going to try and copy that over to this new Barracuda drive. So let's just copy that. Let's see how it should copy with about 100 megabytes per second. It does not. Well, it's getting there. It's actually going pretty well for... Yeah, and then it went down again. So that's going to take 35 minutes. But let's go out there and see. So even though number 30 does not show up on my list in there, it's definitely getting some data now. Also, data is also coming from over here. And sometimes I do also see some flashes of light of drives that it does actually not see but these blinking lights here usually means that they don't work uh, I'm a bit confused how that way number 23 here has, has turned out to be kind of a problem drive as well 35 works well this is where it becomes really weird so thank you very much to Theo for sending me these drives from Germany to play with now I have enough drives so that I can swap around and well mess with this mystery that I have on my hands here. This number 31 that is there but doesn't show up. Well, that doesn't make things easier for sure. So yeah, cool. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Remember to hit that like button somewhere down here. That helps too. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.